Hola a todos acá en Masamune TV. Bienvenidos a un nuevo episodio en el Let's Play del Fallout 4. Si se recuerdan, en el capítulo anterior teníamos construida la mayoría de las partes de la máquina. Tenemos la consola de control, el emisor de rayos, la plataforma y esta otra cosa que era... ¿Cómo se llama esto? Ya se me olvidó. Pero nos hace falta la energía, los generadores, así que vamos a tratar de completarla en este episodio. Recuerdan el, en el anterior tenía como 40 generadores fabricados, bueno, no era así el asunto. Vamos a hacer estos generadores medianos, de mediana capacidad, fíjense, tiene 5, 10, 15 y 20. Y ahora lo que tenemos que hacer es... unir estos generadores a la estructura fíjense ahí con cables fíjense ahí ahora tenemos este otro generador que lo unimos ahí arriba Le dimos corriente, ¿no? Eh, parece que no. Eh, excelente. Este está verde, está verde. Nos falta energía para ese. No sé si estos mismos generadores... Parece que se puede colocar un cable nomás en cada generador. Así que lo que vamos a hacer es crear otros por aquí. Y le vamos a tratar de dar la energía necesaria a esta estructura. Ya. Ahí parece que lo tenemos completo. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. We're close. All we need is enough power to fire up the signal interceptor. Para este. ¿Y este le tiene energía a algo o no? Parece que no. Esas son misiones secundarias de los minutos, man. Ingram. Better check all your connections we'll to make sure all the components are wired together on a single grid.
Estará listo, ¿no? Ah, irá algo, nos falta. I'll send for you if I need you. Elder Maxon. I'm too busy to speak right now. A lo mejor este de acá. Ahí estamos, no estamos. Ahí estamos. Elder Maxon. Remarkable work, Knight. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? Lo probamos, no lo probamos. Ah, más lo que me costó armarlo. Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Your confidence is an inspiration to us all. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute, and the mission can continue. Nothing's going to stop me when I'm so close to the answers I'm looking for. Eager to get inside, huh? Good. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. About ten years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult to convince her to stay. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, She never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secure, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her and convince her to return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on. And it needs her attention. I hope this is worth it. If everything goes according to our plans, this mission will place us squarely on the road to victory. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just keep your mind on the mission. And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. Wow. Nueva misión desde adentro. Tenemos que usar entonces el interceptor y cómo lo usamos. Refrain from opening fire inside the base. It could jeopardize our entire mission. Sir, you have your assignment, soldier. Move out. I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor is ready to go. Are you? Obvio, lo estoy. Vamos. Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. Dr. Lee is a valuable asset. If any harm comes to Pull yourself together and get up oh, onto that platform. La música que toca. Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code now. Wow, there's a heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. 
It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. Well, well, looks like we have a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%. Emitter spiking, but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier. Oh, me volví Terminator. Como viajar al pasado o al futuro. Oh, terminamos el nivel molecular al fin. Bueno, nos costó mucho terminar esta misión. Se hizo bastante largo. Mi arma lista. Tengo hartas balas. Esta es la pistola que usa las balas más simples. Por eso tengo hartas balas. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I'm known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Nueva misión, institucionalizado. Ah. Oh. Veamos quién es este padre. Vamos a tomar un red away, sí. Ah, está el red, ahí está. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that could wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Estos tipos me van a tratar de convencer que esto es lo mejor. Pero cómo? Capaz que sean puros androides. Me quieren puro engañar. Devuélvanme a mi cabro chico. Ahí está mi cabrón chico. ¿Qué hay en la mesa? Sean. No way to pick this. ¿Y qué tengo que hacer? Only 
opens with a key. Va? ¿Qué tengo que hacer ahora? Can't pick this. Only opens with a key. ¿Cómo se desbloquea esto? Can't pick this. No entendí. Otra vez me perdí. Entiendo que tengo que hacer. Me carga estas partes que no, no se me ocurre qué tengo que hacer para avanzar. Como tan bruto, Sefi. Sean, is that really you? Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Yes, it's me, your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Sean, open the door. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door. Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. ¿Qué pasó? But disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am father. Welcome to the Institute. Father? That's your name? Your title? Father is my unofficial title. It's what I've come to mean to the people of the Institute, just as... as you mean to your son, to Sean. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this... situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far, and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, 
Your tenacity and dedication have been real. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time. It's me. I am Sean. What? I am. Your son. <laughs> oh, come on! That's crazy. I assure you. I am completely sane and entirely honest. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten? Sixty years. That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute. And now its leader. But what? They stole you. Kidnapped you. Wasn't right. Right, wrong, irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? What would you have me say? The world is a dangerous place. Although I think maybe it always was. It's just a bit more honest about it now. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if, more often. But, what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. 
It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. They need your help, Sean. It's rough up there, to say the least. Oh, we've tried that. Surprised? The Institute once tried to help create a stabilized Commonwealth government. It ended in bickering, infighting. It was a disaster. No. We look after our own now. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Kellogg was... Let's just say he was more complex than you might think. After what he's done? I'm surprised to hear you say that. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute. But his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you... us... to have some amount of revenge. I know there's more for us to discuss. But... the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I, I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Mm, okay. Por ahora. All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in Facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Tengo que hablar con la doctora Lee. Ese era mi objetivo primordial. un cabezón aquí, no creo. Un 
Ah, me di la vuelta. Call this a clean floor. Are your visual receptors malfunctioning? Can you not see the grime and dust? My apologies, sir. I was issued a defective cleansing. Excuse me, doctor. Don't make real excuses. People do You're clearly thinking in real work. I to report That's this. The future I want. If that's how you feel, why not leave? Because we could do so much more. But no, everyone is obsessed with these damn synths. It's wasted potential. That's what it is. In any case, I suppose I should say, welcome. Perhaps a fresh perspective will do some good around here. Yes, sir. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. Welcome to the Institute, sir. Just a routine patrol, sir. Casa Sinta, mira, tipo este. Aquí no voy a encontrar municiones ni nada. Oh, el meo en río acá. It's an honor to have you here, sir. ¿Dónde está la gente que tengo que hablar? De estar abajo, supongo. los nombres de los científicos pero pero no están bajemos entonces a lo mejor están abajo has been discontinued? That is correct. That was my favorite one. You're here. Glad you made it. I will be happy to forward your request. Do I get luck on tour this or not? The Bioscience Division. In the meantime, since... Okay, you. laboratorio esto se llama estar super enreado <risas> aquí la cerradura que tiene de, del yermo y la rompí Herramientas raras, ¿eh? microscopio. Nice. Oh, no sé dónde me metí.
Estamos metiéndonos en las patas de los caballos. Creo que no debería estar acá. Me voy a devolver porque creo, creo que no debería estar aquí. Se supone que somos amigos con el instituto, así que no. No voy a colocar, no me voy a poner a destruir las cosas. Voy a ver si encuentro a la señora esta. Voy a guardar la pistola, si ¿sí? no se va a asustar. Doctor Holdren sent the Gorilla Project to show promising results. Genetics Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. The gorillas are sensed too? They are indeed. Judging by your reaction, We've done a good job making them seem lifelike. The initiative is still in its early stages, but the prospects are very exciting. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. You mentioned medical care. I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volkert. He's our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll promise you that. Director Holdren seems very taken with you. Ya hablamos con el primer científico. Vamos por el otro. No sé por qué creo que esto no va a terminar bien. Aquí abajo hay otro, ¿no? Almost done. Just need to tighten up this primary drive servo. Hey, yeah. That's a Hi, Doc. Oh, they weren't kidding. I don't know. You really are Most here. of them have lasted well, long right. past their projected I'm lifespans. I'm Allie. Allie you ask me, you can think they of me as the Institute's well. chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I just wanted to find my son and keep him safe. Now that you've found him, I hope you're proud of the great man he grew up to be. Now. I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So. Now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Absolutely. Good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. 
Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. It must be a challenge to meet the power demands of a place like this. Absolutely. We scratch and scrape for every precious ounce of voltage that we can. Over the years, we've learned a few tricks that help supplement our power budget. When necessary, we can tap into select sources on the surface. We take only what we need, of course. Fortunately, Advanced Systems is always working on new solutions to generate more energy. It's a good thing, too, because the demand is always increasing. <laughs> you don't even want to know what a single use of the molecular dematerializer consumes. I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, you can return to the Thank you, ma'am. Thanks, Steve. No visible reaction to the K-14 compound. Excuse me. Once you've settled in, I'll want to do a physical and get a file going on you. No hurry, though. You're the doctor here? Everyone's a doctor here. But if you mean physician, then yes, I'm about as close as we've got to one. How about you take some time to get comfortable, learn the lay of the land and such. In the meantime, you come see me if you need to get patched up. We'll do that checkup when you're good and ready. Take care of yourself, so I don't have to. I honestly don't know. I suppose it's your job to find out. Now hold still. Give us all, doctor. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. So, Doc, welcome. Message. Welcome. It is so good to meet you. I truly hope you come to think of the Institute as your home. It'll take some time, but I could learn to like it here. <laughs> I'm so glad to hear you say so. And promise I'll work hard to make sure that you do. You should know that many of us consider it a great honor to have you here. See that you do. Pardon me, sir. Nothing to report, sir. Creo que nos falta un científico. La más importante. To knock some heads together. We're all looking forward to working with you. Maybe I should take some courses with me. You know, send a message. Please don't. There's enough friction as it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. You going soft on me, Alana? My methods get results, and they will this time as well. You'll see. Like any machine, the can malfunction. Hey, Doc. So, so here you are. Just an AO, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be up front with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Por supuesto, ningún problema. No problems here. Good to hear. Now, father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. I'm sure it's best for everyone if the synths remain here. Certainly. We can't allow sophisticated institute technology to fall into the wrong hands. The results could be disastrous. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our Coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered in fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Con mucho cuidado. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, a Courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask Robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. You mentioned that coursers undergo special training. Tell me more about it. The SRB constantly monitors our Gen 3 synth population, looking for specific traits. Those who show tenacity, fearlessness, and independence undergo a rigorous training regimen. We teach them armed and unarmed combat, 
investigative techniques, psychology, and mechanical skills. Those who pass a final evaluation become coursers. The rest have their memories wiped and return to their former duties. Mitch. Excuse me, I've got reports to deliver. Creo que solamente nos queda hablar con la doctora. Así que creo que vamos a dejar esa conversación para el siguiente episodio porque creo que ahí algo va a pasar y vamos a entrar en, en una batalla encarnada. No sé por qué me tinca que me quieren matar. Father is more than just our leader. He is our creator. Operating at full capacity. I can't express how truly humbling it is to stand in your presence. It must make you proud to see all the Father has done. I wouldn't be here, not for your son. está la doctora Lee. Así que vamos a dejar hasta acá este episodio, queridos compañeros aventuras. Le he dicho a todo el mundo que me quiero incorporar al instituto, pero la verdad es que no, no les creo mucho. Algo va a pasar, no sé, tengo un presentimiento extraño. Que estén súper bien, cuídense, y en el próximo episodio vamos a hablar con esta doctora Lee, a ver cómo nos puede ayudar. Que estén súper bien, cuídense. Chao.